Growing up, I played many games, from Spyro to Driver 3 to Sonic. One such series was Tomb Raider. I've played every one from Triangle Boobs to Anniversary. I've experienced it all. But I don't own any of those on my PC and nor do I want to spend the money. So can you beat Tomb Raider with only the bow? Starting off, Lara was on a trip to the lost city of Yamatai. Her boat went Titanic mode, and Lara woke up on a beach only to be knocked out in seconds. Then she woke up in a cave instead. I'm not going to explain this run, it's self-explanatory. If you can't figure it out, I, uh, I suggest you complete the third grade. Lara was trapped to the ceiling and needed to free herself, so she set herself on fire and fell right onto a piece of rusty rebar. Pulling it out, Lara found some dead bodies and grabbed a torch. I caused an explosion, was attacked by some guy and almost got crushed. I set fire to some boxes, blew up in another wall, and the entire cave started falling apart. Sliding down a hill, I was attacked by that guy again, and I was crushed to death. Kicking him, a rock fell on him, and he died. This is not a bow, and as such, fails the challenge. Just kidding, I'm not gonna count that. <laughs> Continuing forward, I got outside and went searching for the other survivors. Almost falling off of a branch, I climbed up a World War II era plane and found Sam's pack, one of Laura's friends. Inside was a radio, camera, and matches. Laura somehow made a campfire despite everywhere being a torrential downpour, and, using her only match, she watched old tapes and introduced me to the characters. Laura came with Sam, Dr. Whitman, Ray's, Jonah, Grimm, and Roth. Afterwards, Laura was hungry and I needed to hunt for food. Robbing a dead man, I collected my bow. Lara complained about being hungry, so I shot a deer. Lara gutted him, I made sure I was full on arrows, and headed back to camp. At camp, I got the most vital upgrade, arrow retrieval. In previous playthroughs that I've done in this game, I remembered having a hard time always having enough arrows. Probably due to my low IQ, but anyways, this perk completely fixes this problem. Lara got a call from Roth, Roth told her to just keep moving and to head to him. Lara heard music, and, as anyone does on a strange island, Lara climbed down a Resident Evil-esque hole and followed the music. Inside the hut, I found a Pogger's Hanya mask, as well as a makeshift pry axe. Climbing out of the weird hole, Laura followed some voices and found Sam hanging out with a man named Matthias. Sam went on about a Queen Himiko, and Laura passed out. Following them, Laura stepped into a bear trap and wolves came for her. I quickly and easily shot some heckin' doggos, Reyes came by and shot the bear trap, and the GOAT, Jonah, let my leg free. Our group split in two, Ray's, Jonah, and Alex went after Roth, while Dr. Whitman and Lara went after Sam and Matthias. Resting at the camp, I killed more wolves, explored a bit, it is an exploration game after all, and Whitman found a gate covered in ritualistic markings. We tried to open it, but my Pryax was too weak. Fortifying it, I disrespected the statue, collected as much salvage as I could, but this was mostly a waste of time because I didn't really get enough to do anything with. Opening the gate, we discovered that the statues were indeed statues of Himiko, the Sun Queen. Islanders came and Whitman, the one with the gun, surrendered to the Islanders like an idiot. Lara was captured and my precious bow was taken from me. Lara got perved on and all the people the Islanders had taken started running off, giving Lara a chance to escape. Getting filled with arrows, I was able to almost escape, but that guy from earlier found me. Now, here's an issue. If I don't react, he kills me. If I do react, Lara kills him, but with a gun. Believe it or not, guns do not classify as bows. With no other way, I failed the challenge for real this time, and continued forward. Now, a few feet away, you get attacked by some more islanders. I tried to swap to a bow, but I didn't have any arrows. Letting them kill me, I thought maybe I could stealth kill someone to get arrows, but the game wouldn't let me anywhere near anyone. So, I used my big brain to realize the enemies I need to kill are using arrows. If I have to kill them, I'll only kill one with the gun, and then the other with my bow. However, for some reason, they only drop pistol bullets despite the fact that they shoot me with arrows. Failing the challenge twice more, I ran into a building and the islanders set fire to it. Collecting some arrows, I was able to use my bow once more and yoink the man off of a ladder. Roth reached me on the radio, I took a look at the burning buildings, and I got attacked by a few more islanders. I lit a building on fire and the game taught me how to do a stealth kill. I got caught up in the fire and ziplined my way out. I listened to Ulfric Stormcloak when we washed up on this rock, the rain and, wind and squeezed my way up between some rocks, meaning Roth his leg was slightly cut, and he passed out. After dragging him next to a fire, I was off to rescue his food pack, which contained his bandages. I killed a chicken, climbed up some buildings, and entered the wolf cave. I was scared at first because it wouldn't let me take my bow out, it would only let me hold the pistol if I had a torch in my hand, and I can't put away this torch, but 
that wasn't a problem. A wolf jumped on me and Laura stabbed him to death with an arrow which I guess is technically a bow kill, right? It was with the arrow so I mean... I found a cool tomb but the game wouldn't let me enter yet so I had to wait to go spelunking. Bandaging Roth, he awoke from his nap and told Laura that she needs to send out an SOS at the radio tower, and gave her a climbing axe. I upgraded my bow and entered that tomb. Inside, I braved the darkness and found the Tomb of the Unworthy. Bringing some bundles, I climbed to the top and collected some Poggers gold. Leaving the tomb, I upgraded my bow and max arrows, then climbed up to find more islanders. Making them go bye-bye, I found a mortar and pestle and assigned it up the mountain. Almost falling from a collapsed bridge, Reyes reached Laura on the radio and Alex told Laura how to send the SOS. Right afterwards, she was attacked by more of the islanders and they posed a combined zero threat to me. Resting at a campsite, Laura looked at more of the camera's footage, Alex hit on a 14 year old, and Dr. Whitman freaked out about a fish. Afterwards, I found a neat coin, shot some more guys, found another coin, which I actually own one of these, it's kinda cool. And I read some graffiti and snuck through some pipes. Killing some guys, I burnt a poster, almost failed the challenge by accident, and found some cool lanterns. I set off some gas and some guy tried to come after me through the glass. Tossing one of those lanterns in there, it exploded and I thought I failed the challenge again, but he was barely alive and I got a useless machine gun. Killing him with the bow, I got ambushed and you're supposed to use the machine gun and go wild here, but I can't do that. Second try was easy, I was able to clear them out without much trouble, and I arrived at the console, which it was in ruins and literally falling apart. Radioing Alex, he told me I needed to patch in manually with the maintenance panel, which of course was all the way at the top of the tower. Burning my hand on some pipes, I entered a winter wonderland, and I kicked a guy off of a bridge when he tried to kill me, which kinda fails the challenge. Once more, I had to fend myself off against hordes of these islander guys. Blowing up a building, I found out that these islanders are called Solari, and I was attacked by this shield guy. I was worried I'd need to break his armor with a gun, but thankfully the bow could still do it. Killing him, I was awarded with the holy bow part and rested at a camp. I got to the tower and climbed up it. It looks all treacherous and dangerous, but for context, all I did in this entire scene was hold down the W key. At the top, Laura dialed into the International Emergency Broadcast Response System, and they responded and said they were sending a plane on their way. Everybody on the radio celebrated, and the plane needed a signal to land safely. Zip landing down, I collected the fire striker for Lars Torch, exploded some fuel tanks, and the plane came in for a landing, but got struck down by the storm as it said no one leaves in Japanese. I now had to slide down this hill and dodge plane parts as bits and pieces were flying everywhere. Holding the hole in her chest, Laura ran off to save the pilot, and when she got to him, he was stabbed in the chest and Roth called her on the radio, alerting enemies to her presence. I killed them and set off to regroup with Roth. Here I got caught in a trap and the game forced me to kill all the islanders with the pistol. Which, if you didn't realize, fails the challenge. I got some rope and was able to shoot rope arrows now. I hoped this would be a one time thing for failing and didn't think much of it besides disappointment. I found out you can stick rope arrows in the wood to make rope bridges and met up with Roth. Roth gave some stellar advice and Laura ignored it to go save the other pilot. I found the other bow part as well as some sick medicinal herbs. Killing some rabbits, I entered a secret tomb, the Hall of Ascension, and met a cool horse. I solved the annoying puzzle that was all timing based and Laura just jumped off for no reason. Redoing the puzzle, I looted some gold and left. I decided to upgrade my pistol in case a forest could ever use it again and throw all my scrap into it. Not that scrap was ever an issue in this playthrough, I only really used it on the bow anyways. Outside, I lit a shot on fire, collected some eggs, got to the pilot's flare, and he wasn't there. Following in his footsteps, I found him, and he was a trap. The bridge was exploded, Laura was knocked out, and the Oni, as they were called, came by and killed everyone. Laura once again woke up hanging from the ceiling, freeing herself, I thought she died for a second, but before she got up. Sneaking into a cave, I watched the Oni checking up on the bodies and slipped out some corpses. I found a shotgun and used it to shoot open a wood barrier. I qualify this more as a tool than a weapon, so it's okay. Laura Croft said a funny line. I hate tombs. I said hi to an old musty corpse. Laura figured out about the fire ritual to choose a new queen. And I was supposed to use the shotgun here to dispatch the guys sent to kill me. But thankfully, the bow worked just fine. A guy got squashed by the Oni and I used this bell to escape. Shooting down a wall, the wind tore this walkway apart and I needed to shimmy across to the next part. Laura took a tumble, and Laura asked the Solari about the Guardians, but they just attacked her. 
killing them, I decided to knock out the building supports and, as expected, the entire building collapsed and I narrowly escaped. The Oni came and I had to run away from both them and the strong winds tearing the building apart. Landing on a bridge, it collapsed and I slid down some dirt until I landed in a pool. Laura took a nap and Sam called her on the radio. Sam told her she was kidnapped and they were planning on putting her through that fire ritual from earlier. I lit another statue on fire and found some Solari getting drunk. I snuck up high and took them out one by one. My low IQ couldn't figure out how to light this thing on fire to collect the scrap, and Sam contacted me again. The place far from the distance, Laura promised to save Sam and the guards got Sam's radio. Rushing forward, I got attacked by more Solari and the fight played out like all the others do. I had to cross a strong river current, the log I was holding onto snapped, and I was sent down the river. Laura got impaled and I landed in one of those old World War II era planes. She quickly grabbed a parachute and the glass beneath her broke. I was sent parachuting through the forest until I eventually cut myself free and fell to the trees. The wound in Laura's abdomen was getting really bad and she could barely walk, so she went after some supplies in an abandoned helicopter. Just kidding, it wasn't abandoned. It was surrounded by Solari and once again I needed to fight my way through the hordes of them in order to get to the chopper. I took out a guard and stepped into another trap, but this time I was able to just shoot myself down without having to kill anyone with my pistol. Taking the Solari out, I got into the back of the chopper and there were no medical supplies. All Laura could find was a lighter. She used that big brain intellect to heat an arrow till it was red hot and cauterized her wound. Cleaning herself up, Laura got ambushed and finally I was able to use the weapon intended for this fight. Using my new fire arrows, I took out the men attacking her and God taught to me with what could never be. Killing a piggy, I got sidetracked looking for salvage. Again, I don't really know why I did any of this. Salvage was pretty useless to me. My inner hoarder came out, I guess. I got ambushed again, but I was able to just break the trap and kill them with my bow. Going where I was supposed to go, finally, the door shut and a lot more Solari came from behind. Staying back, I was able to shoot most of them without even getting hit. After they were all dead, I opened the gate and rested at a camp. Then I met with Grim. Right as we started talking, however, the Solari came pouring from every angle to try and kill Lara. Again, this went as expected. I really thought the bow was going to be kind of dog water in comparison to every other weapon in this game, but it's actually pretty good. After they were all dead again, Grim told me to come meet up with him. Sadly, the Solari blew off the ladder, so I needed to head back and take the cargo line to get to Grim. Making sure to get lost and not know where to go, I found the cargo line and destroyed an alarm. I killed more men and found another tomb. Inside was the Chamber of Judgment. This game has a bad habit of just not doing what it's supposed to do. Like here in this situation, Laura was supposed to grab this ledge and have it break, but she just didn't. And here, the jerry cans are supposed to keep it weighed down, but they just didn't. It fixed itself the second try, but it doesn't make it any less annoying. I won't mention this again because I don't want to nag on this game, it's pretty fun and enjoyable, but it does happen more than I say and it's rather annoying to say the least. Collecting the gold, I left the tomb and leveled up. I jumped out of a metal box and rode it forward until Grim revealed that it was a trap. Hordes of Solari came pouring out. I almost died here, but my gamer god aim came in handy and I was able to survive. Grim eventually came out as a hostage and the Solari ordered Laura to surrender or he would be killed. Rather than let Laura surrender herself, Grim, the mad lad, took out his captors and sacrificed himself so that Laura could save the others. Saddened, Laura went off to the palace to save Sam. A Solari went to cut the line she was crawling on, but... I landed on the rock and Laura got shot at. Broth saved her, but sadly, he did not save her with a bow. Thankfully, it doesn't matter. Laura told Roth about Grim's death and I was off to cross a bridge that was barely staying together. A rescue chopper was called in and I arrived at the bridge. Crossing underneath the bridge, I almost got discovered, but the man, Roth, covered her. I was grabbed, but Roth shot the man who grabbed me, I decided it would be nice to jump to my death, and I got away. I told Roth I was going in to save everyone, and inside, Matthias was about to conduct the fire ritual on Sam. Laura took out the flame carrier and then missed all shots of Matthias. Getting beat up, she was brought to Matthias and watched as he lit Sam on fire. Suddenly, all the fires were extinguished by strong winds and Matthias said that she was the one. Taking Sam to the throne room, Laura dropped the guards and jumped away. I'm not going to make this joke. Don't you make it either. Die guys, do not make this. This joke is too easy. It's not funny. Don't in the cavern I found flammable gas and as anyone should do if you're in a cave deep underground I lit the natural gas on fire. Laura knew the helicopter wouldn't help them escape and then watched a bunch of naked men beat a guy to death and then proceeded to eat him. I caused an explosion to scare them off then wandered around like an idiot not seeing the obvious path to leave. After thoroughly exploring this cavern like the two digit IQ idiot that I am, I tried to leave through the main entrance and blew it open. Outside, I ambushed some guards and read a note by Ray's to a daughter, telling her that if she doesn't come back, to meet with Conrad Roth, her father. 
Quietly moving a box into place, I killed off the storm cloak and climbed up to a group in a prayer. I blew all the people praying up and the place started acting more and more unstable. Maybe blowing up natural gas in a cave underground isn't the smartest idea. Maybe I should have thought this through more thoroughly. I finally found everyone and I needed a way to get everyone out. Having not learned my lesson, I set fire to more natural gas and quickly the entire place started going up in flames. The floor collapsed and I still used more natural gas to explode Reyes, Jonah, and Alex out of there. Escaping, I went after Sam and Whitman. Climbing through the exploding building, some Solari took time out of escaping a burning and exploding hellhole to shoot at me. Killing them, I met with Whitman and he was a bit sussy. He said he would keep a lookout, so I went to meet with Sam. She was guarded by Matthias and a guard. Lara clapped the guard when Matthias left, and with Sam, they went to get Whitman. Whitman was tied up and told Lara to run. Sam booked it, and Lara stayed behind to take care of the Solari. Burning them all, armored men came in, and again, I was worried that I would need to use a gun to break their armor. Thankfully, that wasn't the case. Killing them, I admired some samurai armor and ran after Sam. On the way, I got attacked by a guy with a turret. I was afraid Lara would kill him with the turret, but thankfully, she didn't. No, she had to kill him with a grenade launcher instead. I tried not to, but he killed me. So, failing the challenge again, I blew him up and attached the grenade launcher to my assault rifle. The grenade launcher could now also be used like a tool, like the shotgun is, to open doors. Next up was a fight where I was supposed to kill them all with my grenade launcher. I, obviously, could not do that. Slowly picking them off with my bow, I blew open another wall and Sam was shown running from the Solari with a gun. Chasing after her, I had another fight to do that was meant to do with the grenade launcher. Still unable to understand the concept of explosives, I died once here, but other than that, it went pretty well. After this, however, a man mounted another turret and started going crazy on me. Dodging his fire, I ran close to him and I hoped I would just be able to shoot him, but of course, it's never that simple. The game forced me to fire a grenade at them, and I failed the challenge. Meeting with Sam, Laura told Sam not to get on the helicopter. Laura knew what happens to boats and planes that try to come to the island. Trying to escape, the whole bridge was blown up by Matthias in an attempt to kill Lara. Killing a man with my axe, which by the way is a bow, I got into the next tower and it was collapsing fast. Roth saved her with a helicopter, but Lara knew that if they tried to leave, the chopper would explode. She put a gun to the head of the pilot and forced him to land. He landed, just not in the most practical way. Roth woke up and tried to get Lara. She was hazy and not fully there when Matthias and the Solari came. Roth protected Lara and took an axe to the back for her, killing himself. Reyes blamed Lara for Roth's death and they gave him a proper warrior's funeral. Lara told them all that there's something keeping them from the island and she needed more time with Roth before leaving. She stayed until the only thing left were some sticks. Lara realized, finally, that the Storm Queen was the power not letting them leave and she needed to use the boat. Reyes was fixing up to get deep into the island and get to the ritual chamber to stop the storms. I found a cool knife, killed some Solari, and entered a new tomb, the Storm Guard's Sanctum. It was really dark inside, so I set a lot of stuff on fire until I could figure my way around the place. At the top, there was some more poggers gold, and I collected some. Killing the rest of the guards, I snuck into a room full of dogs. I thought about killing them, but decided not to. Leaving, I was back at Shantytown, where everything was destroyed. Alex called to say they were at the beach and the boat was in rough shape, needing tools to fix. Laura told him to see what they could do and took a gondola down the mountain. Almost at the bottom, Laura got ambushed and I needed to defend myself from more Solari. They attacked me on this floating boat rig thing, and after killing a lot more of them, one man took a hold of a turret and started firing wildly at me. This made the boat thing fall down. I landed on a platform, which then dropped me onto a rope. Going down, I landed in a stream. Almost failing the challenge by accident, I killed a boar and met with the crew. They needed to move something heavy, I don't know what that is, but Jonah and Lara couldn't lift it, so I was off to get some pulleys to lift it with. I found a tomb, but my massive muscles couldn't move the rock. Proving that sea mines aren't dangerous, I killed a crab. Money! 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 <laughs> then went towards an old pirate ship. On the ship were a few guys. Taking them out, Laura learned how to float, and then she went for a swim. Collecting the pulleys, I killed some Solari and ziplined back to the crew. Jonas said Alex should have been back by now, and Dr. Whitman came running to them, firing at nothing. Laura brought up how Whitman led the Solari to them before, and they got into sort of a stalemate. Jonah, the absolute goat, gave Laura the compound bow. Upgrading it and leveling up, I set off to the Endurance, the ship we came here on, to check up on Alex. Using my new compound bow, I was able to shoot rock walls and make bridges with them. Alex radioed and said he was almost there, and Reyes told him that Laura was coming. He said he had it and went radio silent. 
Killing some Solari, I found another tomb. This one was very reminiscent of old school Tomb Raider games. In fact, I remember levels in both the newer and Triangle Boob games that had this aesthetic. Inside the flooded temple, Lara pressed the button and turns out the power was still on. With the water all electrified, I had to find my way around. Sitting on a boat, I used ropes to pull my way around and used the boat to block the electricity. At the end, I got more poggers gold and upgraded my pistol more, even though this was a waste of time. Leaving, the game crashed. <coughs> Reloading the game, I saw the endurance. Trying to get closer, I ran into more Solari. They were hoisting a generator into the air. I shot it when it was high and made it fall onto them, killing them. Sadly, that wasn't all of them, and more Solari started firing off at me. Hanging back, I was able to snipe most of them, and I somehow blew myself up. Killing them all over again, they threw a barrel at me, but my gamer instincts kicked in and I destroyed it. One stuck up on me, but that didn't last long. Getting outside, I thought for sure I needed to pull this generator down, but Lara wouldn't let me. Finally, I got close to the Endurance. Alex's journal revealed he went all the way over here to impress Lara, which is kind of cute. I got to the ship, besides the fact that I swear this large guy was voiced by an orc in World of Warcraft. He bugged out and it wouldn't let me counter him. I sat here for a bit, but eventually let him kill me. Second try, he was no longer bugged and I killed him fine. I got a rope ascender, whatever that is, and it helped me move heavy stuff. Lara came to her room, saw herself in the mirror, reminiscent of the beginning of the game. Some Solari talked about a survivor stuck at the bottom of the ship. So, down there I went to save Alex. Alex's leg was trapped in a room behind some electrical wires, so I used a crane to climb up and clear some pipes. Then I hooked said crane into wires and pulled the wires away. Inside, Alex had the tools and his leg was really stuck. Solari came pouring in and the ship started blowing up. Alex tried to be a hero and have Lara leave with the tools. She gave him a kiss and left. Afterwards, the ship exploded and sank. Lara barely escaped. Lara said, I can't let anyone else die, and then... Snake, are you okay? Snake? Snake? Accidentally shooting my pistol again, I was able to move that generator, and Lara found some old logbooks that detailed a tomb of some general that had something to do with the weather. After finding a Tepsuho, I left and went back to the encampment. On the way, this happened. <laughs> At camp, Reyes called Lara out on Alex's death, and Lara left to the general's tomb. First, however, I killed Pumbaa and entered that tomb I tried to get into earlier. Inside, I missed the stationary target, and I found what looked like a fishery, maybe? Either way, inside the Temple of the Handmaidens, I used a buoy to push a pillar around so I could progress. At the top, as all tombs, I found a chest of gold and took some. Poggers. God taunted me with a new pistol, and I set off for the general's tomb. Killing Pumbaa again, I arrived at the tomb and it was covered in Solari because of course it has to, every square inch of this island needs to have a population of a thousand Solari. Annoyed at having to kill the same enemies for the 50th time, I wiped out some more Solari and blew up into some rocks dangerously close to Lara. Dropping into the cave, I found some Solari talking about the Oni and saying that they were nearby. Killing them, I rested at a camp and came upon a broken elevator. Destroying its wheels, the elevator broke through the floor and let me into the lower levels. Down there, the Solari were confused as to why they were down there. I am confused as well. Giving off old school Tomb Raider vibes, like I swear this was in one of those old Pyramid Tits games. I entered the tomb of that general, where his corpse lay as he committed seppuku. Lara dishonored his grave and took his sword. Cutting herself on the blade, she found a note in the hilt that explains Himiko's soul is trapped in her body and is what's causing the storm. With her questions answered, the Solari came bursting in to attack her. Killing them, I jumped onto a rock wall and escaped the tomb, only to find out that Reyes and the others were getting gunned down. Getting to them, the Solari had already been fended off, and Reyes and Jonah were alright, but Sam and Whitman were gone. Whitman took her to Matthias. Reyes apologized, Lara explained everything she knew, and Reyes agreed to take the boat inland to the ritual chamber. Arriving there, Jonah and Reyes stayed behind to take care of any samurai or Solari that came after Lara. Running into Whitman and Sam, Whitman got cut into pieces by the samurai, and Matthias took Sam into the temple. The samurai got thrown into the wind, and Lara snuck into the temple. Walking next to the samurai, Lara knocked some skulls over, and the Oni noticed, sending the samurai after her. Escaping them, Lara killed a few samurai, and I rested at a camp, earning a new shotgun that I could never use. I tried to shoot Matthias early, but the game wouldn't let me. Jonah and Reyes got attacked, and the samurai came running at me, including the Oni. This honestly wasn't that bad, even with just a bow, these samurai were kind of a pushover. Picking them off, I ran into the big boy, but 
Luckily, the winds picked up and, holding onto the ground, sent him flying over the edge. Afterwards, I was thrown into a room full of corpses. I broke the wall as well as the giant gate in the ground. Finding a cool urn, I climbed my way out and entered the queen's chamber, where Lara finally pieced it together. The fire ritual chooses the new successor. The chosen priestess enters the monastery, and then Himiko's soul transfers into the new priest. Knowing Sam was the new vessel for Himiko's soul, Lara ran off to save her. Reaching the point of no return, I found a vase and found Matthias and Sam. For some reason, Lara didn't shoot Matthias, and they got away. Climbing up the mountain, I broke more gates with bells and got lost. Figuring out what to do, the bell fell and I landed on the only plank of wood not to fall on the chasm. Reyes told me the samurai were coming and to be careful, and, climbing up more icy rock, I reached the top where Matthias was transferring Himiko's soul into Sam's body. Trying to shoot them, the arrow got deflected by the winds and I needed to make my way around them. Solari and Samurai alike both came pouring in to attack me. One got smashed, and the Oni came. I was afraid I would need to use the shotgun here to break his armor or something similar to that, but thankfully I didn't and I was able to shoot him in the back and bash his head in with my axe, which, by the way, isn't a bow. Reaching Matthias, it forced me to shoot him with Lara's signature dual pistols, and failing the challenge for a final time, Lara stabbed Himiko's body with a torch and banished her soul, stopping the storms. Grabbing Sam, we all regrouped and headed off in a boat. Later, it showed everyone on the ship that rescued them, and Laura said she wasn't going home. And I did not beat Tomb Raider with only a bow. If you got this far, you probably enjoyed what you watched. YouTube tells me that like 90% of you watching this aren't subscribed, so I'd greatly appreciate your support as these videos take a lot out of me and take a while to edit. If you want to keep up to date with me, I'm decently active on Twitter, so you can probably find me there. I do post about videos early on Twitter, so if you want to find out about possibly what's coming out next or just what I'm doing, you should probably check there. What the dog doing?